Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a battle. This one is against a, a friend of mine, Brendan, that uh, I actually talked to quite a lot on Skype. Um, and uh, yeah, he's he's a pretty cool guy. We decided to have a battle. Uh, I was actually looking for one yesterday because today I was at work for most of the day. And the day, time I wasn't at work, I was like asleep because <laughs> I was fucking tired. Because it was cold today and a little rainy and stuff like that. But anyway, so like I was trying to explain, this is a first gen battle. It's a black and white, but it's um, first gen Pokemon only. Still, you know, fifth gen movesets, everything, just only first gen Pokemon. So I got Duck Trio. He's got a Golem. We both got Stealth Rock. And um, this is probably the funniest part of the match because I'm going to go for the Earthquake. And uh, that's going to bring him down to a sturdy. He is going to hit me with a Rock Blast, which uh, I don't really know why he did that. Um, an Earthquake would have just killed me. But he does get five hits, and I do live with four. So I'm going to Sucker Punch. He goes for Stealth Rock, and I'm like, come on, dude, don't just Stealth Rock all day, okay? Whatever, fine, I'll just go for Earthquake. And then I go for Sucker Punch, and he's like, you're fucking dick. You're such a dick. You're going for Sucker Punch. Uh, so true. So I go to Haunter. Um, because... Basically, I was looking for a Gengar with the same set, but I actually don't have it. And I'm just like, eh, whatever. Um, so, he goes into Needle King. I'm going to go to Snorlax. He predicts that very nicely and switches out um, to Marowak. And now, thing is, I'm underestimating this Marowak. He's going to go for the sub. I'm going to go for the return. Would have been bad because uh, I almost went for Curse. And he's like, oh, I wanted to Focus Punch. Turns out he doesn't have Focus Punch. And he's being a dick to me now. Uh, which is fine, because, yeah. Uh, but he's moved Bumbering, which does a ton. And this return, not even going to kill him. That's that's kind of sad. I mean, Marowak's base defense is pretty nice. I think it's like 100 or something. But, um, yeah, so I switched out to Haunter. Uh, he predicted me to switch to Zapdos. He has Fire Punch, so he could have gone for that and would have killed Haunter, but it wouldn't have killed Zapdos, right? So that's what he was predicting. But I don't want to go to Zapdos, because of um stealth rock basically and no leftovers so uh yeah so i'm gonna go for the shadow ball because i thought he might want to stay in even though i probably should have gone for the substitute here i completely forgot about sucker punch uh if not if i had a subbed he told me he had um uh reversal and facade and protect so that would have been great like, I would have pretty much, more or less, like, been able to stall most of his team out. Because if he has only Sucker Punch, I can sub, then disable it, and go from there kind of thing, right? And I nothing else on his team is really threatening to a Haunter with a sub. But that doesn't happen. I go to Snorlax, and uh, I just kill him. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I go for the rest here. He gets a Swords Dance, which is very dangerous. I'm like, I was hoping, hoping he'd be a defensive set, but no, he has to be a Swords Dance, Drain Punch, you know, Sucker Punch, Zen Headbutting one. And uh, because he has and he has that plus two, uh, yeah, I'm kind of going to get screwed. Here I'm like, oh, genius play. He's going to Sucker Punch, and I'm going to go through Extreme Speed, increase priority. I'm going to go first. His Sucker Punch is going to fail. But then he's like, wait, but I'm faster. And I'm like, fuck, I forgot. <laughs> fuck. Yeah, Arcanine only has 95 base speed, and uh, I'm adamant anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, um, yeah, so, you know, I can't take a Sucker Punch at half health, and then I've got a Slowbro who, actually, he thought I was going to stall him out, but he forgot he has Synchronize, so he thought he's just going to, you know, Toxic him and I'll be fine and stuff, but I'm like, first of all, I don't have Toxic, second of all, Synchronized. She's like, oh yeah, I should probably remember my own Pokemon's fucking abilities. I'm like, yeah. But, um, you know, it's kind of irrelevant because he's got a Scarfed Nido King with Thunderbolt. And even if he didn't, Earth Power's good enough to 2-hit KO, at least. And uh, I really don't think a Scald will Oko a Nido King. And he still had uh, Gyarados, too. So that would have not worked out either. Most likely. But, uh, well, he told me it was a Scarf Moxie Gyarados, so... I don't know. But uh, either way, you know, it was a pretty fun match, and it's uh, nice to have these once in a while. I I imagine you folks would agree, because uh, it is, again, in the, in the end of game. And yes, it is nice to be competitive, but sometimes it's nice to just have some fun and 
like I said, I mean, we were fucking laughing it up on Skype, and it was hilarious. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all tomorrow.